Welcome back to AmbiV, I'm Casper, and today we're going to take a look at one of the downsides of daily driving a 40-year-old car. When it comes to having a daily driver car that is 40 years old, you have to expect there to be problems. It's one of the reasons why when I buy a new car, I change so many parts. I typically assume anything made of rubber or plastic is going to be brittle and breaking. I replaced almost every hose in the engine bay, but one place I hadn't gotten to yet was under the dash, and that is where I had my problem. As I was driving spiritedly on the back roads, testing out all the new changes to the car, a heater line exploded under the dash, specifically the heater line running from the firewall to the regulator that controls flow, controlled by your hot cold switch. The line burst the entire length of the hose and dumped all of the coolant from the heating, system, heating cooling system into my passenger footwell. That instantly fogged up my windows and set me on track for a bad day. Fortunately, the way the car is plumbed, it was as easy as stopping, using a screwdriver to loosen a hose in the engine bay and looping it, and adding some more coolant to drive it home. Now that I have it back here, I need to figure out which parts I can actually get a hold of and what I can do to get this car functional again. So let's get under the dash and see what we're working with. So as you saw, my solution with the parts I had on hand was to add two 10AN bungs to the firewall of the car, loop the heater core straight to the heater source and heater return, and call it good. Essentially what that did was now the coolant will always be passing at full rate through my heater core, which means I can't ever completely cool down the heater core. In Oregon, that's not that big of a problem most of the year and I probably won't worry about this for quite some time, but I will try to find a valve to put in there that can replace the factory one. Hopefully, this will be of some use to somebody else out there who may encounter this problem, at least get an idea of what it looks like under the dash there. If you like these videos, please subscribe. It lets me know that you want me to keep making them. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.